Hello everybody and welcome to Karen's Stamp Path. My name is Karen Scott and I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Edmonton, Alberta. So welcome. Today I want to show you a cute Valentine's card. I had to do a swap and uh, we had to create Valentine's cards for our, our everybody in the swap. So this is what I put together. And it is using the Share a Milkshake Bundle. And I've added, of course, an adorable owl. He's so cute. But it's got um, Valentine's Sentiments. And uh, yeah, so I'm using some products that are now available in the, uh, the mini catalog. The uh, January to June mini catalog. And, uh, yeah, so, uh, I'm going to be using not only the bundle, but I've got some fine, uh, shimmer paper and it comes in three colors, the fresh freesia, soft succulent and a gold color. And, uh, in doing the, the top for my ice cream, I am using the, Fancy Flora 6x6 Designer Series Paper. And it has some cute, um, it has some really nice Designer Series Paper in it. But a lot of them look like they could be uh, ice cream. So in this one that I've done, kind of looks like um, cotton candy or bubblegum ice cream. And this one I'm going to use, it's going to be, I'm going to make it the card not out of the Fresh Freesia, but I'm going to use the Soft Succulent Shimmer Paper. And uh, and I have uh, used this, which looks almost like mint ice cream. So, let's put these aside. The other thing that... Um, that I'm using is the painted texture 3d embossing folder just for a little texture and my background and uh, I've gone ahead and cut the pieces because there was a lot of die cutting and um, I just thought I would save some time so here we have our, our basic uh, card base and it's your eight and a half by eleven cut at five and a half and scored at four and a quarter and then i have a piece of and this of, of course is the soft succulent and i have a piece that is uh, four inches by five and a quarter and i've used the painted texture 3d embossing folder to just give it a little texture like i said and I have a piece of the uh, Fine Shimmer Soft Succulent paper. It is so nice. And it is um, three and three quarters by a five. So all I've done is cut each piece down by a quarter of an inch. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this together. And then I will show you the pieces for the ice cream bundle or milkshake bundle. So you could pop this up if you want it. I did on my other card. I'm just gonna lay this down. Okay, so we'll put together that. I'm just going to grab a dauber and some early espresso ink. And I'm gonna show you the pieces that I've, I've uh, die cut out. So the, the dies come, oh, there's, <laughs> so many you could make a milkshake out of it 
you can make a sundae and I chose the cone and here are the pieces so this one is a waffle cone and as you can see it has the uh, the waffle pattern in it and I pre-cut that there is the top to the sundaes and I'm using that for my ice cream there's spoons there's a couple of I've cut a couple of spoons and left them in here I'll use those at a later date and a I don't know a lattice I guess die that um, that I've cut a piece out of there so it also comes with the hearts for the Valentine's which I've, I've cut and um, so yeah let's just put this together so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my sponge dauber and my early espresso and I'm just going to use it to put a little shadow or around the outside of the cone and that's all there is to that so the adorable owl I have colored in um, crumb cake light and dark crumb cake and then I use the soft succulent for his eyes and you just fold along the score lines here and then adhere it so I want it to lay fairly flat so I am going to use my stamp and seal plus really get it down you could burnish the edges if you like but that's laying fairly flat okay so now I want to decide which side I want to, to use for my, my cone. And I'm going to put some stamp and seal there. And I'm going to put it right down on top. Oops. Let's see that edge of the cone there so you'll notice on here there is um, a little slit and you can there's a cherry in there in the in the dies and you can cut a cherry and you can put that in or you can put your straw or um, your spoon if you want <clears throat> but what I'm going to do I'm not going to use that so I've cut three of these and I'm just going to layer it. And so what I did on the other card was I put my sentiment just over top of that so you couldn't see the uh, the slit in the in the ice cream. Okay, so I've got my ice cream cone put together and I'm going to bring in my silicone craft mat and I'm going to put some liquid glue down. So this isn't a hard card at all. Very easy to make. And uh, so you can do lots of them to give your kids and, and uh, for Valentine's cards, I guess. And I'm just going to take my, my lattice work and I am going to run it through my liquid glue. And I'm going to place it down wherever you want. Mine's going to be a little bit lower so you can see it. And then I'm going to put on my ice cream. I don't know if you can hear it, but my dog is not happy that she's not in this room with me. <laughs> so she's, uh, she's barking up a storm. All right. <clears throat> so I'm going to put that down. 
and I think you know I'm going to put oops I'm gonna have to adhere that again I'm gonna put a Stampin' Dimensional on the back of my ice cream just because it will place that back where it was there we go <clears throat> okay so now I'm going to put my owl on and I'm going to use Stampin' Dimensionals for him. And his head is going to be on the ice cream, so I'm just going to put it in the back of the body and put a little bit of Stampin' Seal. on there there and take my my putty end of my take your pick tool and I'm going to run that through the I'm picking it up and going to run it through my glue as well and then place your your hearts wherever you you like okay <clears throat> so I have one more heart I'm gonna put that on my greeting <coughs> excuse me okay and I've already got my greetings on my on my block and here is my piece of cardstock and it is a one inch by two inches. I'm gonna bring in, just because I want it a little bit darker, my evening evergreen, which will go nicely. And I might, I just re-inked it so it might be really juicy. looks good and I'm gonna do the same thing with my sentiment I'm gonna put on uh, a pardon me a dimensional on one end and stamp and seal on the other end and I'm gonna cover up that slit that I told you about. Okay, I'm going to leave that open. Hi, Carolyn. <laughs> oh, you can't hear my pup. Oh, <clears throat> I haven't posted this yet on our um, challenge page because I wanted to do my Facebook live before I before I posted this as my Valentine's card. So all right, so now we've got the outside pretty much done. I'm just going to take my last, need a little more glue. I'm going to put that on my greeting, my heart, if I can get it. It's glued to my silicone craft mat now. Okay. All right, so there we have that. I'm going to put a few rhinestones. I can color them in. And so like I said, nice and easy and really cute. So I'm going to do my inside and um, I've got a piece of four by five and a, uh, five and a quarter basic white cardstock. I'm going to take my Life is Sweeter With You stamp and again use my Evening Evergreen. And if you want it, and I do, got some hearts. I could stamp those in red, but I'm just going to use my green. 
and we'll put that on the inside. Then don't forget to do your envelope. You can put a few hearts on that as well. And we'll just glue that in. And there you have it. <clears throat> so, in two colors, like I said, there's still some gold in the um, in the fine shimmer paper. So you could make one out of gold if you wanted. But uh, let me know what you think. Which one you like better, the purple or the green? Or the and uh, yeah, that's it for me today. And. Um, yeah, so join me again next week at 4 o'clock on Thursday afternoon. So have a wonderful week and bye for now. Mm-hmm.